Hey guys, welcome back to another great episode of Stove Top Yum Yum. Today it's all about the air fryer and this episode starts right now. Okay guys, as I mentioned, today it's all about the air fryer. So today I'm making a spin on crab ragoon egg rolls. The difference is we are not using egg roll wrappers today. I'm using pizza crust, very thin pizza crust. And I'll show you how simple this is. Let me show you the ingredients. First, you start out with two eight ounce containers of, sour, of uh, excuse me, cream cheese. I have, uh, I think it's eight ounce, yeah, eight ounces of claw crab meat. You can use lump if you'd like. I like claw and it's a lot less expensive. I have about <clears throat> tablespoon and a half of cilantro. I also have a little bit, half, about a tablespoon of soy sauce, a little bit less, half a tablespoon of soy sauce. Today I have a small onion, guys, that I have brown the onion with a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of stovetop yum yums holy mango caribbean seasoning blend because I, the reason why i use that one today i've made it with the smoky one i've made it with my original as well but i made it with the mango today because i'm in the mood for some citrusy caribbean flares so okay guys now we're going to mix our ingredients so I'm gonna take my cream cheese, it's room temperature. I love to use this meat masher. I don't know if you guys have ever used this with ground beef when you're making, when you're making tacos or you're kind of separating ground beef. This is really good with cream cheese. I like to use it because it, want, it separates it quick. So two of those, I like to separate those real quick. See, it's room temperature, so it's not hard. It seems hard, but it's not. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna grab a tablespoon of soy sauce. Grab your measuring spoon. That's about a tablespoon right there. So now that we have jazzed up this cream cheese, I'm going to add our crab. Oh my God, that is so delicious, you guys. Our crab. So now I would say add a little bit of garlic but if you use my stovetop yum yum holy mango Caribbean seasoning blend, you don't need garlic because there's garlic in holy mango Caribbean seasoning blend. And onion, which of course enhanced when I went ahead and uh, put our onions. Oh, that smells good already. So now we're gonna grab our small onion with our mango, nice citrusy mango. Guys, if you haven't tried this yet, you need to check it out on my website. This is so amazing. And you will, you will not believe that it's salt-free, sugar-free, and gluten-free. I'm telling you, it's worked for me. So I have so many customers that love this. All right, so we're going to mix that. Look at that. Very simple, guys. Very simple. Mixed in. Now let's grab some cilantro. Now I grabbed about half, probably a tablespoon of cilantro. So the other tablespoon I have there, we are going to create my delicious cilantro garlic aioli. Yum, it is so delicious, you'll love it. With these egg rolls. So keep in mind, this is not a gluten-free day. I'm using very thin pizza crust, so I'm cheating today, but of course I'm a portion control girl, so I'll be, I'll be okay, but you know, I thought it would be a nice twist on, you know, omitting the actual egg roll wrappers and using thin pizza crust. It's so delicious. Oh, and making it in the air fryer. Oh, delicious. All right. 
So I'm gonna finish mixing this. I'm gonna grab my pizza crust out of the fridge. We're gonna come over here to my cutting board. I'm gonna show you guys how I cut it, how I roll it out, and how simple it is to wrap these and throw them in the air fryer, you guys. And you don't wanna miss this. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. And here's our pizza crust. You can use any pizza crust you like. Buy it in the store, the pizza crust. I'm gonna use probably use both of them, but I'm gonna put this back in the fridge to keep it cool because it becomes very sticky if it becomes warm. So as you can see, it's square if you want to make a square pizza. So since we're going to roll this out, I am going to take my paring knife, my paring knife, and I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my paring knife. Let's put our flour right here. Put a little flour on my paring knife. Very easy. And normally a egg roll wrapper is about this big and this big, but I'm going to make it less than that because I'm gonna roll it out to make it thin. Look at that, see that? So probably about, take your pizza crust and you can probably do like a six by six or something, see? Because I'm gonna roll this out. You know, like I said, this is not a gluten-free episode. And that's okay, I promised you guys that I would, they weren't all gonna be gluten-free, so that's fine. As long as you limit your portions, you're good. Especially on when you're using when you're having a cheat day because I don't really have that many cheat days, but once in a while I try. All right, so we're gonna do this and we're gonna just roll it out. I have my little fondant roller, which if you have a big roller, I have a big wooden one too, but I like my little fondant one. It's just convenient because I'm not really rolling out uh, bread or cinnamon rolls or anything. So. I wonder if there's a way I can make uh, gluten-free cinnamon rolls. Hmm, that's a good one. Probably not, definitely not sugar-free, but yeah. All right, so this is this guy, okay? Okay, guys, so now that we have cut our, made our pizza crust very thin into our supposed egg roll wrapper, now we're gonna grab some of our spray, nonstick spray, and we're gonna spray two spoons. Make sure you get two big spoons to spray. And this is what we're gonna use for our mix. So we're gonna put it this way. We're gonna put it the long way. Put it just like this right in the middle, guys. Oh, this is so good. This is so, so delicious. <sighs> it's like the perfect cheat day. I love crab. All right, so now we are going to take this right here I have one egg with two tablespoons of water and a brush, our egg wash. So we're going to go all the way across on every edge, all the way on the edge of the pizza crust. That's going to act as our sealer. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to roll the ends like this. This is how I roll it. The ends like this. And then we are coming this way. So what we're going to do is we are going to tuck and roll. I don't know if you ever heard of that, but tuck and roll. These are our delicious, delicious. Look at that. Look at that. How's that for an egg roll? <laughs> Yum. Hey guys, welcome back. And our egg rolls are ready. And look at this. How's that for unique? With pizza crust. How crazy is that? So now here is my air fryer. Look how easy this is. You will put your air fryer at 320 degrees Fahrenheit for six minutes. Make sure, normally with air fryers, we spray it with our nonstick spray. When we're working with something doughy like uh, biscuits or pizza crust, I always recommend that you line it with some parchment paper. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do three at a time. So let's grab it. Here's one. Make sure that you put... Uh, some flour on your plate when you're putting these down raw so they do not stick. So that's two. Because remember, they're always going to grow a little bit. And three. There we go. So now we're going to pop this baby in for six minutes. So now we're going to pop these in for six minutes, you guys. And when I come back, I'm going to show you how golden brown and delicious these are. Then I'm gonna put the other three and we are gonna plate and taste and you're not gonna believe this. 320 degrees in your air fryer for six minutes. Make sure you grab yourself some parchment paper. 
It's a, very important when you're working with doughs. So you don't want to miss this, you guys. I will be right back. Okay, guys, look at that. Look at those jumbo egg rolls made with pizza crust. Excuse me. They look like mini strombolis. Yum, with crab ragoon in the middle. Que rico. Wow. So what I did was my leftover mix. My leftover mix. There's no eggs or anything in it. You can eat it with crackers if you want to. What I do is I save it in the fridge and I make sure to use it with my protein I'm going to use the next day. You can stuff this with chicken, fish. Oh, so delicious. So I'm going to put this in the fridge when I'm done and I'm going to see what I'm going to make for dinner tomorrow. This is so delicious. Okay, guys. So I have three tablespoons of your favorite mayonnaise or aioli. If you want to be fancy, a tablespoon of minced garlic and a tablespoon of cilantro. The last ingredient I'm going to add to my sauce to give it that pop is a tablespoon of our holy mango organic Caribbean seasoning blend. Oh my God. So good. You guys, if you haven't tried this yet, I don't, I really don't know what you're waiting for, but I'll tell you right now that you will not, you will be so amazed at how you can actually have a product that has no salt, sugar, or gluten and taste so flavorful and so delicious. I mean, you can check out uh, my testimonials on YouTube. I'll put the links in the description. I have them there on Instagram. Oh, the testimonials are really out of control. So we're going to eyeball about a tablespoon. That's about it, about a tablespoon. It'll add color, flavor to your, to your sauce. Ugh. And you're probably wondering, well, if you made a crab ragoon with cream cheese, why are you making a mayonnaise-based sauce? Well, I'll tell you why. Because always remember, guys, that mayonnaise is so delicious when you make crab cakes. Oh, it goes so good with crab that you won't believe the creaminess of the mayonnaise with the uh, with the cream cheese. Oh. So you see that? We have a little color there now. Look at that. How pretty is that dip? With our mango Caribbean seasoning blend. All right, so now I will show you guys again. So you can see with the sauce, with the mango dipping sauce. The Holy Mango Caribbean Seasoning Blend is so delicious when you are making dips. So good. So guys, I'm going to see, these are hot. So I'm gonna see if I can grab one and take a bite. Some of them might open on the bottom and it doesn't really matter. This is not perfect. I'm not striving to be perfect. I would normally not dip it in here. If you have a little spoon on your plate. Let me take a bite, it's hot. Wow, that's amazing. I have nobody to taste test here today. Carlitos in his room on his computer. My husband's watching TV. That's okay. They're, all, they're not all for me, but my perfect taste. Normally, guys, I would double dip. And the reason why I don't double dip now is because lately for the past, like ever since I started on this healthy kick, I get full so fast that it sounds crazy, but my portion control is so on point that uh, it's very minimal and I get full really quick. So remember you guys, if you like this episode, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to comment. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. If not, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you don't miss any episodes. And of course, my amazing seasoning blends, my original smoky flavor and my holy mango, which is a lemony Caribbean flavor. This is so amazing and they don't have salt, sugar or gluten. That's unheard of. You need to try this, you guys. And don't forget to go to the description box and check out my social media, Facebook, Instagram. You won't believe the testimonials on Stove Top Yum Yum. I'm very thankful, very grateful. And don't forget to visit me at www.stovetopyumyum.com where you can pick up your seasoning blends 
I have extended the promo code STOVETOP to save you 10% on your entire order. So that has been extended with no due date yet. So it's still rolling. I'll let you guys know if that changes. I also have my beautiful retro t-shirts, which are passion and love. I'm all about passion and love, as you can see, my retro t-shirts. I have my passion and love t-shirts for men, my beautiful aprons. Guys, just when you have a chance, go to stovetopyumyum.com and check it out. I know you'll love it. And as I always say, you guys, please, the two main ingredients in everything I make or anything I do in life are passion and love. I don't care what you look like. I don't care what your kitchen looks like. And I don't care where you come from. If you incorporate those two main ingredients in any dish that you make, your recipe will not fail. I promise. And I mean that from the heart. And as I always say from deep down, always in my deep heart, au revoir. I love you. Los quiero. And until the next great episode of Stove Top Yum Yum, this chickie will be back. And I will see you guys then. Take great care, guys. Bye.